everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about books that I've read recently. The first book that I read this month was The Keeper of Lost Things by Ruth Hogan. This is also the book that my book club has chosen to read this month, so I went to the library to pick up a copy. However, they did not have it because it's published, published in England. I think it came out last year, so they didn't have it. So I read this as an ebook. So the beginning of this book was pretty tragic. We follow our main character, Anthony, as he mourns the loss of the love of his life. His relationship with Therese was pretty heartbreaking. This is actually the first book that has made me cry. Filled with grief and just, you know, he was trying to seek solace. He starts to collect lost things and as he's collecting them, he meticulously documents them and like what they are, where he found them, the date he found them, and he starts building this collection in the hopes that he will be able to return these lost things to their owners. Okay, so that's the premise of the whole thing, but in the meantime, um, he starts writing short stories about each item, and you can find snippets throughout the whole book about these items, but it's pretty unclear if he's a writer of these short stories or if these stories actually happen. I am still completely unclear about that. Anyways, he hands over this task of returning all these lost items to his housekeeper, Lauren, and she accepts this challenge not only to help out the name, but also as a way to redeem herself. This is the main storyline. There's also another storyline that's set Okay, this storyline is in the present. There's also another storyline that's set in the 1970s following a woman named Eunice. And she works at a publishing company for her boss named Bomber. And he's gay, but she is madly in love with him. So, yeah. So this book is set in London. And it has a touch of supernaturalness to it. There's just this mystical element to it that it just doesn't work for this book. When you're reading this, the two storylines read like two separate stories and to me that was kind of like bothersome because I didn't really care about Eunice's and Bomber stories but I did care about Anthony and Laura's story, the main storyline. I wish that it was just that storyline but everything does interconnect and make sense once you reach the end but I feel like a book shouldn't be that way. I felt like the second storyline should have been eliminated completely from the book because it really took away from the main storyline. The overall feel of this book just felt really disjointed. So we started off with a great premise, however I didn't really like how the book was executed. I just felt like the whole book was sort of a mess. But I did like some parts and I especially liked Anthony. So I gave this book 3 out of 5 stars. So I went to the library the other week last week and I picked up this book called The Spark of Life, Electricity in the Human Body by Frances Ashcroft. So the author is a scientist and a professor of physiology at the University of Oxford. So she gives you the lowdown of scientific findings and she doesn't just like bog you down with a bunch of information, she actually pulls you in and engages you with real life stories and she's just so incredibly witty with like, she just knows her stuff about the body in relation to electricity. But the book isn't even entirely about electricity. Like, there's just so much to learn in this book. There's, like, so much interesting facts. I had a lot of fun reading this book. So this book was totally worth reading. I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. And finally, I read The Lord of the Ring. The Fellowship of the Ring. <laughs> In this book, we follow Frodo Baggins as he tries to destroy a ring entrusted to him by Bilbo Baggins. Oh my gosh, when I read, when I first came across Bilbo in this book, I was like, oh my gosh, he's old. So another character that I really liked was, of course, Gandalf. He's just so, like, protective and I just like how he guides Frodo and gives him helpful advice. Um, so one thing that I didn't really like about this book is the poems in this book or the songs that they sang. Um, it's not that I didn't like them, it was just like too long and I was like, oh, I don't have time for this. So I kind of skimmed over them. This book was just a lot of fun to read. However, I did find it like in the beginning hard to read and like the names, like Trying to sort out who's who was kind of like challenging for me, but once I got the names down and I'm like, okay, everyone is settled, 
This week was just highly enjoyable. I gave this book five out of five stars and I cannot wait to read the second one. So that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It is raining outside and I just heard thunder. Um, okay, so thanks for watching. Bye!